So I'd like to try to make a title image or header image um, starting with this picture of an eagle. And right now it's 1.7 megabytes and it's about um, 3,500 pixels wide. And so what I want it to be is um, under about 40K and, um, and then only about 960 pixels wide. So what I'm going to do is open this up in Pixlr and um, so let me here's Pixlr and if I scroll down I can just launch the web app and open that image from my web browser and um, so the I think what I want to do first is just crop this um, so I'm going to choose my crop tool and then um, just crop it nice and tight around that eagle and um, just double click on it to crop it. Um, so if I go into my image size I can go ahead and reset that to be 960 pixels wide and it's only about it's under 200 pixels high which is just about right. Um, let me go ahead, right now it's at 20%, so I'm going to reset it to 100% so that I could get a better idea of how wide this really is. And um, if I wanted to, I could just use this as a background image for, um, like, on my web page, uh, but I could also um, go ahead and put some text in just on the image itself. And so I just choose the text tool and um, type in the text and this will let me choose different fonts so we can kind of go through and find something that's interesting. Let's see. Oh this is nice. It lets me um, see what it looks like as I roll over the different um, the different fonts. Now the nice thing about this is I can play with the size and the color and everything just right here within this app. Um, so for example maybe I want this to be um, like a super dark blue um, or maybe I want it to be like orange or red. So anyway you can you can get the sense that you can um, play with this as much as you like. Now blue on blue is a little hard to read so let me just go and I'll choose a light color. Whoops! Try that again. Click OK. Um, So let's see, it might let me, let me try something, it might let me just pick from the eagle head, yep, did, so that's kind of cool, or maybe I want the yellow from the beak. Um, okay, so now once I get it, I click OK, and um, then I click OK, and now I can just save this image, so I'm going to do File, Save, and um, I can drop down the the um, quality a little bit to reduce the file size. So right now it's it would be 20k um, or 14k at a 60%. That's actually pretty small. So I could probably go higher. Let's try 65. And then when I when I get a good photo, I'll just go ahead and click OK. And then I can just save that on my desktop and then use this image uh, in my um in my web page